Yeah, but this one's a loom like the one on the second floor that we run up at Paris Mills, and Greg Etzel and his dad re-engineered it into a jacquard loom using that head that's up there. And my hope, the reason it's sitting here is my hope was someday we might be able to actually set it up and, and have it in running condition here. All the parts are here, but they altered a regular loom. There's, there's a whole thing full of holes here that pulled every warp thread up and down individually. Kind of like a computer uh, punch card, right? Exactly where the computer punch card came from. <laughs> See, a I lot of history books. A lot of history books yeah. that show the history of computers will show a picture of Jacquard Saloon. He was a Frenchman. Right. And the fact that it used punch cards, and here's the secret, the fact that only by changing the punch cards you can totally change what the loom wove without changing the warp or the waft. The thread, the actual threads in use. Um, just off the top of your head, uh -huh. totally, I know, I, in, in, well, I, I know what your, your answer is going to be, but how long would it take you to put that together? This? Yeah. Probably half a year or better. Really? Off and on, being interrupted by, you know, just being practical yeah, around But you here. see how big this thing is, and it literally was part of the building. We had to, we went and got this and the heads, and he lifted them out with a crane and set them on our truck, and we brought them down here. But what we had to wait on was the frame. Mm -hmm. Four years later, we got the frame when they tore the building down. She called us and said, well, I let them have everything but that frame you wanted, and there it was sitting on a spent slab, nothing around it. But they had a two-by-six floor that was, there was no frame underneath it, no beams. So it was clear span, two-by-sixes nailed together. The whole floor was made that way. It must have weighed a ton. But when they cut a hole in it, they had to have this outer part of the frame. The head sits on the two inner ones. They had to have this outer part of the frame, and those floorings went into the channel. And so this held up half the floor and went into their building. So they could, because a jacquard head, the threads can only bend about so far, they won't drop down on their own weight. <laughs> And so you had to have long threads put out here, had to put go in and form a square pattern and where they went up into the head. And I don't know if there is anything hanging. Now you can see the wires hanging down through the pallet here. So there's, there's going to be a lot of restoration on something that's just like an old car. It's very hard to determine the actual time. Okay, and I do ask. have a parts head over here. There's a whole other jacquard head that was up there at their mill, and I said, well, boy, we better grab it. You can't make parts. A lot of this stuff you can't make. Which Behind or on top? Down in here. Are you kidding? Those things weighed a ton. I had to, we had to run a forklift to stick that one up there and turn this. This thing came down here upside down. They turned it over for us, which is handy because it skidded very well on the top. And uh, but we had to get it turned over in here, and I had to move all this stuff out, move all this stuff back in, because I wanted it up front here. And this is the extra head, and it's a slightly different head. It's the same company and all. A lot of the parts are yeah. interchangeable, but this had more ends. This one's a double.